What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys and in today's video we are going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played young boys in the UEFA Champions League in match day 5 guys. Yes guys, let's get straight into today's video. So we made 5 changes from the last game against Juventus. Talk about the starting 11. So we started with De Gea, Valencia, Smalling, Jones, Shaw, Fred, Matic, Lingard, Fellaini, Martial, Rashford. Caught everyone's eye was that Pogba was dropped and Lukaku was dropped to the bench. Not a surprise there, obviously, with Pogba not playing so well recently. So overall reaction. Now, this was a game for Manchester United where we had to come into this game and we had to win the game to qualify for the UEFA Champions League. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail of this video, Manchester United are through to the UEFA Champions League into the round of 16. So that puts us in a very good position now as well because now that gives us a game in hand and we play Valencia in the next week. So that gives us a game to finish the group stages on a high. We don't want to be going into that game thinking, OK, whatever way we play or the way how we perform, well, can take this on the chip. Uh, so whether if we draw or lose, I'll take that. I want Manchester United to walk away from that Valencia game with a high. I want Manchester United to finish off the Champions League group stages with a win. So if we can do that and pull that off, I'll be happy. We're lucky enough to win this game. We could see the way how the young boys were approaching this game. They wanted to really frustrate Manchester United. They really wanted us to get the qualification and go all the way to the last game for us. They really wanted to just absolutely pat the bus on us and just go defensive and just not make any mistakes. They made that mistake with about two minutes to go and that's not what they personally wanted, but we had to score to qualify. We did that again in hand now. Uh, nevertheless, first half, people are going to be mixed with this. I think people are going to say that it wasn't one of the best first halves. I'm going to say this was a good solid performance. I think we played about five times better from the Crystal Palace game because we play with more urgency in the game, creating better chances. In control, we had most of the possession. We were dominating the whole game, really. We had to play all out, really, in this game against young boys. We had nothing to lose in this game and we had to go for it. If we did not go for it, we weren't going to win this game. We can walk away from that game, say that, you know, at least we didn't lose that. We won it. We got qualification going into the round of 16, into the Champions League, which I'm happy about because it gives us, it shows that if you think about how we are performing in the Premier League to the Champions League, it seems like, you know, we're not bothered about the Premier League. I'm focusing on this Champions League. They really want, I don't know if they want to win the Champions League. It will be tough, though. But I'll tell you now, we did beat Juventus. So if we can do Juventus, we can probably do Real Madrid, considering that they don't have Ronaldo anymore. It gives us that team spirit in the team. We're playing very well in the Champions League. We want to continue that. Like I said there, we've got a game in hand. I want Manchester United to walk away from Valencia next week, away from home with the W. I don't want United to have our heads down thinking, OK, we lost that. We need to bounce back in the round of 16. We need full of confidence going into that round of 16. This is where now Manchester United need to put in better performances in the Premier League. Can we do that? Yes, we can. We need to lift that confidence back in the team. We need the team spirit back in the team. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And that's if Mourinho starts changing things up. Second half, it was one of these halves, you know, we needed to put young boys to bed. It was a frustrating game at the end of the day but we did manage to put young boys to bed. Young boys were coming back and into the game. They did want to have a good go at us in the second half. They had that spell. United were mainly in control of this game. We dominated the whole game and United fully deserved something out of it. And we got that, we got the three points and we are now through to the Champions League into the round of 16, which I'm very happy about. I'm happy that Fellaini got the goal for us. Well, someone needed to get the goal for us, and we got that in the end. Let's analyse this game. So United started quick. Like I was just saying, United were playing with urgency. We're playing quick football. We're playing with a high intensity, a high tempo on the team. We're playing with a lot of heart. United were playing with a lot of width, a lot of pace. You know, we had Rashford, we had Martial in there. So we had some very good pacey players, and we had players that could be potentially a threat on the counter-attack, which we had that. United had players high up the pitch. United had young boys on the back foot. We were on the front foot a lot in this game. Like I just said there, United have been constantly on the front foot. United have created chances 
Again, just going back to the Palace game, chances that we can't score on again, chances that we have tested the goalkeeper. Rashford had a great chance, should have buried it as a striker. That was where Jose Mourinho turned around and he was absolutely disappointed. As a striker like Rashford, you've got to take your chances, you've got to score on your chances. Rashford again had another good chance, Fred had a good chance and a longer range effort. A bit more left, that was probably going to be a very good goal. Fred again with another great, another good chance. Good to see Fred back in the mix as well. Good to see that he's got another chance in the team as well. Martial had a very good chance as well. So these are chances that we had and we just couldn't put in the back of the net. It's frustrating when when these things happen, but that's football, that's, that is football. United have constantly put in the pressure onto young boys. These chances that we have created, we just can't put them to bed. And it just goes to show, really, because we had that in the Palace game. And you've got to take it on the chin. You've got to say to yourself, right, we are not being showed up today. We need to put our chances away. And that's what we need to do into the Arsenal game as well. That's coming up in the next few days or so. United have had more possession. United have been dominant. United have been in control of the game. Young boys have just been nowhere near United whatsoever. This is just a game where you know it was all United. We just can't let them get on the run of play and score a goal. That was the last thing that we didn't want really. United have had far better chances in the game. Young boys have just haven't tested De Gea properly in the game. United made a few errors now and there. When I mean by that, we were giving the possession away sloppy. Stupid passes to to them, you know, being dispossessed. I want to say that, you know, Manchester United always have to do mistakes in every single game. We could never have one game where we where we don't really have any mistakes in the game. But there's always got to be a game where there's errors in the game, where there's mistakes. You've got to take it on the chin. You've got to take it on your chin. The passing is good, the movement is good, the distributions are good, the link-up play is good. Defensively, United have made the right decisions. Yeah, we were playing well defensively. You know, we were, we were mentally, physically prepared for this one. We knew what was coming our way. We approached this game well. We just needed to put young boys to bed. Decision-making was has been good. Physically and mentally, United have prepared well. United have the desire in the team to go and score goals. We just had to be patient, obviously. United have the ability to go and do that, but we just can't score on our chances. Overall, it was a good first half. We should have been at least 4 5 nil up in that first half. Second half, United needed to carry on the way how we played in the first half. United need to keep the pressure onto young boys. United need to keep young boys on the back foot. Need to keep the pressure onto young boys. I could just said then. United started quick. Fellaini had a golden opportunity in front of goal. A few good chances in that game, Fellaini. United have continued to play the ball around neatly. But young boys are just cancelling out United's chances with resolute defending. Very good defending by them. They just wanted to hang on. They were just going part the bus. They wanted to get a good draw out against Manchester United. They wanted to really frustrate United in this game. They really want United to make sure that it went down to the last game for us. But they couldn't do that. We nicked that goal in the good time to get that goal and to qualify to get into the round of 16. United then made two early changes. It was a good decision by Jose Mourinho to make those changes early on into the game. So it could do some damage limitation to young boys. Lingard went off a Lukaku talk about Lingard's performance. Irritated that he should be used in the central role. His movement and telepathy with Marcus Rashford threatened regularly. Substituted. Fred went off for Pogba. Talk about Fred's performance. Entirely improved the midfield and the attack with his urgency and one or two touch football. Faded as anxiety crept in. Rashford had a very good chance in the game. And slowly but surely, young boys were coming back into the game. That's where they had United on the back foot. They were on the front foot. Young boys had good chances at goal. De Gea had to make some great saves into the game to keep us into the game. At this point, it was still open for both teams. Like, like I just said previously, the last thing that we didn't want was let them get a goal on the run of play. That was, that was the last thing that we didn't want as well. United made our last and final change. Valencia went off the matter. Talk about Valencia's performance. An assured return in his first appearance for nearly two months. Did not do enough in the final third to offset Jesse Lingard infield running. United are putting the pressure back onto young boys. Shaw had a good chance at goal, a long range effort as well. United's crosses weren't good enough. I want to criticise Manchester United's crosses recently. They've not been good enough. You can't find a Manchester United shirt. We need to be more consistent with our crosses. 
We need to be more consistent. And again, it's just the same every day, day in and day out, that we can't get past the first man. So we have to be better with our crosses. Mata putting a good cross into Fellaini. Fellaini just puts it over the bar. Again, Fellaini, he, could, he was getting close into the game. The link-up play is good. United have got players high up the pitch. United needed to throw everything at it for the last five minutes of the game. United kept going as a team. United kept the pressure on as a team. Finally, the goal came in the 91st minute. First goal, Shaw puts in a great ball to Lukaku. Lukaku flicks it onto Fellaini. Fellaini controls it and puts it in for 1-0. United then just needed to hear the final whistle. Manchester United won. Young boys, nil. Win done, victory done, three points done. The Champions League table is now done for us. And I'm happy that we've got it all wrapped up now with a game in hand. And the last final game in the group stage is, of course, Valencia. Now, Valencia, as we are aware, when we played them at Old Trafford, it was a both-sided game. It was a game where it was open for both teams, both teams that were really wanting to win the game. And we draw that game. Overall, as a team performance, it wasn't good enough from Manchester United. We need a better performance away from home next week, considering that we do have a game in hand. We do want to finish the table on a high. We, of course, want the win so we can walk away and say, you know, we've got that team spirit back in the team and we can go again as a team, whether what the result is against Arsenal and Fulham over on the weekend. But we need to need to be better as a team. We need to put in a better performance. Yes, they've got a few former players that, that were in the Premier League as well, so they will know how Manchester United will approach this game. They'll want to probably still get the win, considering that, you know, they've not had the best of games. They're not going to qualify anyway, so there's no chance for Valencia anyway. So we have to come out a lot better as a team. We prepare for the game right. If we are physically and mentally prepared for this one, and if we come in the right state, with the right mindset, get the team spirit there, we should go and win the game from there. If we do that, we win the game against Valencia, and then we've won literally every single game except losing to Juventus. And that goes to show the fact how we're playing well in so well in the Champions League, even though we're not playing that well in the Premier League. So, just goes to show, doesn't it? Hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hope to see you guys in the next couple of days. And peace.